Good morning, Simon from Life's a Gamble, so let's take a chance back at T Titchmarsh Marina in Essex doing some plank removal on chance. It's the first of many plants to come out of Port Hands side. It's a long and arduous job because there are quite a few rotten edges to planks, although the planks themselves are fairly strong, but because of her age and the find that some of the fastings have gone past their sell by date it's going to be a matter of taking quite a lot more planks off than just one or two but that's the nature of the game so that's what we are doing at the moment taking planks off on the port hand side as you can see from me having taken a plank out some of the fastings have lost their heads half a head Copper nails on the on the other hand are in good nick, and so are the frames and ribs along the boat. So every frame has got two ribs: frame, rib, rib, frame. There are double frames in some parts. As you can see, double frame, two ribs, two ribs, single frame. At this point, two ribs again, then a double, a double lower one, upper one's a single, back again, rib again, another rib. Single rib again, single frame again, front end of the engine room. So cabin, 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 cabin both cabin to be the engine room. And that's where it is. And it comes this side of it. It's the engine room bulkhead now. Yep. And back to the ribs again. Where we're going to join is a monumental double frame and if you look across the boat to the other side you'll see there's a double frame across there in the centre of the picture so that's where we're going to join this plank so now we're going to continue with other, more planks to come out we're we'll going further aft now and we have to take out this plank here all the way along the boat, along the one boat, along the boat, along the boat, and right to the transom. And if you look at the transom, you see these three planks here are in a bad way. So it's going to be a mixture of long planks and short planks coming out of this area. So we can get this side of the boat all nicely sorted out again. So that's what we're doing next is to take some more planks out aft. Yes? Right. That's it.
as you can see it's long tiring work because it's doing looking the planks out but we've got to get them out but the one thing we have to do is take one out and leave one in take one out otherwise they lose the shape of the boat it's a miss if you do it take them all off you sometimes lose the shape of the boat and you can never get it back again so that's why one out one in one out that's a the practice has been done for years and years and years and it is industry standard not like some people say take the whole skin off and hope for the best that isn't how you do it you take one plank off leave a plank in take a plank out leave one in take a plank out you never ever do it any other way right this is the port side aft now most of the planks are out apart from the ones either side of the ones that are taken out which will come out eventually but they have to be stayed in to keep the shape of the boat and that's why they're there not because they, they not to come out but they have to come out but you've got to put some new bits in first and then take those bits out otherwise you lose all shape recognition of the boat's true shape not what it's turned into so now it's a matter of taking all the nails and screws out of these bits cleaning all the edges up and then next time pattern up the, the planks to make new planks as you can now see we've done an extensive amount of work to this side of the boat all the way along there along there along there up there and to the transom that's all I'm going to be doing for the this moment on the top side, the port side. However, there are a few planks lower down on the underneath that need some attention as well, around about this area of the boat. Also, along the water line where wind and water have been constantly attacking Chance's water line, and some of the planks need replacing in this area as well. As you can see, we have made one hell of a start by taking out the rotten planks and broken planks out of the boat and also started to take out a few of the bottom planks which were also rotten and were in need of replacing as well. I've only done about half of them this side so far but I've run out of time for the day but that's for another day. So. This is a one half a steering block, steer chance up and down the rivers and seas. This will need replacing because it's a little bit rotten at the top there. But apart from that, the shape's right, just need to replace it with a new piece. Same. Right, that's the end of another fruitful day down at Chance. A lot of planks come out. A lot more rot has been exposed on the port and side, although I wouldn't expect to find it there, it's still there all the same. It's also need means I've got to take a lot more planks out, some of it good wood, to try and get the joints in the planks in the right place, not like they are at the moment, which is very close together and the boat lacks strength where it needs it most amidships. So that's what's going to have to happen next time. Take some more planks out and continue the deep planking of the boat. Although at the moment there are still planks in place which are rotten, they are there to maintain the shape of the boat. Not, and that is all. But some people would let, lead you to believe that you need to completely de-skin the whole boat and then put it all back together again. That's all well and good if the boat is structurally, that means that ribs and frames are completely sound, the boat isn't distorted out of shape over the years, and you can maintain its shape. In the case of Chance, the port hand side appears to be in its correct position, but my training over the last 48 years has taught me never to de-skin a boat completely as it will move out of shape. 
Some people lead you to believe these days that the industry, industry standard is to strip it all off and start again. My training, which is 48 years ago, says do you do not do that. I would presently think that my experience of 48 years is far more in keeping with traditional old style vessels like Chance and I am going to do it the way I was taught by a renowned boat builder from Norfolk when I started my apprenticeship back in 1977. I found that this per method has never failed yet and I do not think it ever will. So if you'd like this if you've liked this video and you'd like to subscribe to our channel uh, either by PayPal, uh, YouTube, Patreon or on our many blogs on different formats Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram we are on most of them if you just punch in Chance Restoration 1948 you'll get one of the links one way or the other so this is all for me today if you still if you did like the thing please like subscribe and let's see if we can get a thousand subscribers by the end of the month thanks very much talk to you soon bye